we'll click get portfolio holdings and then what happens here is that I will get a text message on my phone with the code that I have to enter so I will enter that and press OK and then remember we have 128 shares and now it's 32 shares that Apple was there and then once we wait till this runs uh, we should see 128 shares what's up everybody this investing sensei here to bring you week 46 of the portfolio update so i have the agenda pulled up so you guys know what we will be covering in this video and uh, we will be starting off with going over the activity so this is anything that we bought sold any dividends that came in this past week and then from there we're going to jump over to the google sheets we're going to kick off the dividend script to see if we got any new dividends and then from there, I'm going to actually show you guys a new script that I added to the Google Sheets. So look forward to that because that's pretty exciting. I've been working on that on my free time and it's actually pretty cool. So I can't wait to show you guys that. And then uh, the last thing, we're going to wrap up the video with a portfolio update on how much it increased or decreased this past week. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so we're here at the activities and I have it filtered out from August 24th, 2020, all the way to the current time. And as you'll see at the very bottom that M1 started to show some new activities, which is ADR pass through fee. And that was a negative seven cents. And the reason why this is, is because on the 24th as well, we got a dividend of uh, from BTI of $10.15. Since BTI is a foreign company for us, we do have to pay some taxes and fees. So we did lose seven cents. So we made a total of $10.08 there. And then on that same day, we did do one buy of $11.82. So this was uh, some dividends from the previous week. And we bought some Bank of America. So we're trying to buy some more Bank of America while I was in the 20s. And then uh, from here on the 25th, we reinvested the $10.08 from BTI. And we bought some LTC properties. So this will be the monthly dividend paying company. Uh, REIT and then on the 27th we deposited a hundred dollars which we have been trying to just deposit a hundred dollars every single week we're trying to uh, save up some cash because if we do have another correction we will be dumping all that money into the portfolio and then on that same exact day that I did the deposit I did three buys of a hundred dollars so I bought some more Bank of America bought another thirty dollars so that got me about another share then we bought some Duke Energy and some JP Morgan. So that added up to $100. And uh, that was really it for the activities this week, guys. So let's head over to the Google Sheets so I can show you the dividend script and the new script as well. So uh, I'll see you guys over there. All right, guys, so we're here at the Google Sheet and we are at the dividend payout. So real quick, I am going to kick this off. And if we go at the top, you'll see dividend tools and you'll see two things now you'll see a get portfolio holdings which i will be covering in a minute or two and then you'll see the get upcoming dividends so you'll click this and then this will go out and grab the late the last dividend that a company paid out and so typically this is the declared dividend so we try to grab the latest ones that are upcoming uh, i know that we didn't get any declared dividends this past week because i have an email alert set up i have a tutorial on that if you guys are interested i'll add a pop-up on the top right if you guys want to check it out uh, it's pretty actually pretty cool and it's pretty neat um, but yeah guys uh, we don't have any new declared ones but I usually try to at least kick it off once a week uh, just so we're up to date and then you'll see that uh, these are the ones that are coming up so you'll see uh, actually September 1st we are going to be getting quite a bit of dividends so I'm really looking forward to that and anyways I'm gonna show you guys real quick the script request that we got so last video i was asking you guys for some ideas so these fa first five will be part of version three of the upcoming dividend script the that i'll be releasing very soon hopefully i don't have a time frame right now but uh number seven which you guys probably already figured out but i finally got a script working where we can actually grab uh positions from your M1 portfolio and that will actually enable us to do number eight which will be projecting our annual dividends for the year so that's gonna be actually pretty sweet uh, one of the things here is that I, we will try to design it in a way that for people that are subscribed to my channel and are interested in this type of stuff but aren't able to do M1 we are gonna have it in a way that you could manually enter your positions and then it'll actually project your uh, dividends 
So I'm really excited to see how that turns out. And then the other ones that we got some pretty other cool ideas was uh, trying to you know get the dividend yield per stock or also overall portfolio. And then this one was the dividend safety. So this one's a little bit more challenging, but it's actually pretty interesting. See how that turns out. I think we can probably do a lot of these you know over the time. So make sure that you're subscribed uh, with the bell notification. So when we do new add these new features, you guys are notified and you guys know how to add these to your Google Sheet. But uh, you'll see over here a new tab called holdings and what you'll see here is you'll see a column with uh, tickers so this is the tickers that we have in the m1 portfolio the next column you'll see is uh, value and then you'll see cost so the difference is how much we have in capital appreciation so this is what the value of the stock right now is worth well not the stock but how much we have invested this is what we actually have in that ticker so for verizon we have a total of two thousand two hundred ninety three dollars and 25 cents right now it's valued at two thousand four hundred ninety two so the difference would be our capital appreciation that we would get in profit and then we have 42 shares uh, and then overall this is actually really neat because this was actually pulled down from m1 automatically and one of the ones that i want you to pay attention to is uh apple right here so apple we have about $16,000 is what it's worth right now. We invested only about $5,500 and we have 32 shares. And one of the things here that I want you to pay attention to, so there was um, a, one, a one to four stock, stock split. So for every one share of Apple that we got, we were gonna actually get four uh, shares of Apple. This would decrease the overall value of the Apple shares so that it would be available for a lot more people. But uh, so you'll see that the last time I ran this script was uh, still showing up as 32. If we go over here to the holdings, uh, let me tell them that I'm actually still logged in. But uh, you'll see now that M1 has actually started adjusting this. So now it says that we have 128 shares. So it's 32 uh, shares times four. So 128 shares. Uh, they still haven't fixed the average price yet. Uh, they'll probably have it done by Monday or so. Uh, but uh, here, you, I just want you guys to pay attention to this, 128. And so I am going to show you guys now. So we'll go back to the sheet. And if we go up here, Dividend Tools, we'll click Get Portfolio Holdings. And then what happens here is that I will get a text message on my phone with the code that I have to enter. So I will enter that and press OK. And then remember, we have 128 shares. And now it's 32 shares that Apple was there. And then once we wait till this runs, uh, we should see 128 shares if this actually grabbed it from the our portfolio automatically. So let's look. It looks like Apple is here. 128 shares, guys. How cool is that? This is all automated. I know a lot of people wanted to see this, and we finally got a way to do this. I think we still have some other cool ideas that we can uh, make this even better. But, uh, you know, it's going to be over time. Uh, but this is the first step. This is actually really neat because this is going to enable us to do a lot more cool uh, things in Google Sheets. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this. And uh, thanks so much for watching on this part because I've actually really been excited to show you guys this. I'm, it's, you know, the code itself is kind of all messy and all over the place. But I'm trying to uh, consolidate it and make it very nice and readable. And uh, again, this is all JavaScript, so I'm like re really new to JavaScript. I actually had to learn it for the, the upcoming dividend script that I wrote for you guys earlier. Uh, so yeah, uh, but anyways, this is the new script. Hopefully you guys like it and you guys are excited to um, wait for the tutorial on it. Uh, but let's head over to the M1 portfolio so that uh, we can see how the portfolio uh, did this week. All right guys, so we're here at the portfolio. And let's go ahead and wrap up this video. So this uh, week we ended up with $128,388 and we don't have anything in our cash balance. Uh, but if we go over here to the value over time and actually you just see over our time, this portfolio just continues to go up and up. But uh, we want to go over here to the one week, probably one month. And if we go over here, last time we were, we were right around one. 24 if I can find it so we were right here we were at 124 
thousand three hundred and eighteen dollars and seventy nine cents and just throughout this past week we just continue to go up guys this portfolio continues to uh you know surprise us and surprise us so we ended up with one hundred and twenty eight thousand three hundred eighty eight dollars and twenty three cents which is a total of capital appreciation in one week of four thousand sixty nine dollars and forty four cents and that's really impressive guys because you know I think it was like maybe last week or the week before I was like okay we just met 120,000 and I was like you know okay our next goal is 130,000 let's see if we can get that before the end of the year and it's been like maybe two or three weeks I don't remember the exact time but we're already at 128,000 almost 128,400 so we have like what a thousand six hundred more to go before we even meet the 130k you know like I mean, I, I wonder if we can even get to 150k before the end of the year. But, you know, we'll see because there could be a market correction, which actually I'm really looking forward to a market correction. I've been trying to save up some cash and I'm hoping to, uh, you know, get some really good deals. And uh, yeah, guys, but uh, this actually wraps up the video. Hopefully you guys sticked all the way to the end and hopefully you guys actually like the new uh, script that I added. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to support the channel by hitting that like button. It helps a lot. Share this video with your friends, family. Uh, just let me know uh, if you guys have any more cool ideas. And I will catch you guys in the next video. So take care. Stay safe out there. Bye, guys.